Hello to everyone. Today we are going to install the subsurface drain system of the green. So let me show you the detail of this area. So this this is the center. You can say main line. It is going all the way back. And these are the laterals left and right. So this is we called hair and bone drainage system so it is just like a fish hair and bone you can see it this is the main and the lines are coming and joining it so you have to be careful with the slopes you have to pick up all the down areas so all my gradient here is falling down this way so then we marked the lines and the and we have to dig it manually with the shovels and pickaxe. So now you can see it. The majority of the area I have covered with the YTs. So th these are the YTs which is going left and right on, on 60 degree angle or you can say 30 degree angle and uh, there i have two t's one is here that will be a 90 degree angle which is going all the way that way and uh, one is this one this is also 90 degree angle which is going that way but these are the short span so we are picking the area with these and uh, on this lateral i have pick up another secondary um, line this is the primary this is the secondary as you can say the tertiary line so to get the area covered so the space between the two lateral is about five meters um, that depends upon the soil condition and everything but one thing is that we are growing our grass media in sand so in sand you can keep the distance away because that soil underneath under, on which will be sta sitting under the sand that will become an impermeable layer that will be not absorbing water it will be absorbing some water but majority of the water will find its way towards the filter pipes so one is get in these slots in the filter pipe then that water will be sucked and uh, taken away through gravity out to the chambers and uh, it will find its way to the irrigation lake and from irrigation lake we will use it again so we are actually recycling water the excess water that we will get in here and the in the rain you can say or in the heavy irrigation that, so whatever whatever and from where the we will get the excess water that will find its route towards the our irrigation lake so this is the actually the design and uh, now I will show you the pipes and fittings the, which type of pipes and which type of fittings we do use here so here is the pipe uh, this is class B pipe uh, that is UPVC class B uh, pipe and 4 inch dia okay so we have three slots in it this is a filter pipe one slot is here one slot is here and one slot is there somewhere down and uh, the bottom part is also solid and this upper part is also solid you can see it you can't put this slot on top top area there if you put it there it will become a venturi effect and that will suck all the growing media underneath and take it away so be careful with that one okay now let me show you the whiteies so these are the whiteies and uh, this uh, these are the schedule 40 pipes sorry schedule 40 fittings and uh, you can see that the pipe is going there and one pipe is going there okay and then we have the gravel you can see the gravel pack on top of the pipe so that is almost three to four inches on top of the pipe the gravel pack so this is 5 mm crush aggregate you can say and that will come to the top now once that is filled as you can see here we have uh, backfilled these pipes 
so once that is filled then you have to uh, lay a layer a complete layer in this entire area of uh, uh, 20 mm crush or 15 mm crush whatever you can get so let me show you these uh, dead ends there you have to provide one end cap you can see it there is an end, end cap so that no dirt particle etc go can go inside in that pipe So there is again a one pipe. So all these um, secondary layers, the left and right uh, branches or you can say laterals, they are collecting water and uh, all the water is coming to the main which is the center one and uh, as I have explained already that these YTs these YTs are actually taking the water inside and these are the best if you can't if you provide a 90 degree angle the problem is that the water will go and stuck in there and that will be a water hammering pack. not water hammering but there where that will start uh, back pressure to you and this type of uh, tea the water that is coming from that direction on the water from that direction they all will take a pressure in the forward direction so let me show you a YT here a straight tea here so in this way is the water is coming from this direction and the water is coming from this direction so what will happen there will be a water collision inside so what will happen that will create a back pressure on that pipe so uh, in this type of tea uh, you should avoid it but where uh, we have no room so you can install such type of uh, teas in here as you, as you can see that this line is straight and that's coming straight here and uh, this is the man so uh, avoid this type of tree but if there is uh, no room then you can go for it so you can see that uh, from this tea onward i have a blind pipe you can say it or a solid pipe you can say in other words and that is going all the way to the irrigation leg so the filter pipe is just should be in that area where you are going for gravel pack and where you are going for the um, uh, what is called the growing media etc so there are a lot of pipes sitting inside so let me show you the filter from inside also so this is the pipe let me show you <coughs> so here you can see uh, the bottom is solid and uh, that should be installed like 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 that as you can see so the bottom is uh, solid and uh, so one side is solid and the other side is solid and the top uh, right is solid and the remaining is blind see right so this is the the way these pipes are built and these are class b pipe you should not go for lower class uh, otherwise due to soil pressure or uh, the media pressure that can collapse so be sure that you are using the right size pipe with the right class and the pressure absorbent so thank you for watching when we go for the top layer which will be around 100 mm and the thickness of the layer then i will upload another video on that one that how we will go for the top layer preparation so be in touch stay tuned and thank you